Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today we're gonna do the. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> the holiday crafter tag <laughs> I'm not prepared that's okay but anyways this was made by Kim over at Pettis Kim which is her channel name but her podcast name is called the crafty or uh, crafty nomad so she made this up uh, for fun and uh, it's like a holiday crafty tag for us crafty people so I'm gonna do it <laughs> there's um, 10 questions I think yeah, I got two different ones printed out because I'm going to go ahead and film two now and put them out on two different days. So number one is, what is your go-to crafting method for the holidays? Uh, obviously crochet. <laughs> I, I love making ornaments for my family. There's none hanging here. <laughs> There's one up there. But uh, the last three years, I've made ornaments for my, my immediate family. My brother, sister, mom, and us here. Um, and then maybe the only other kind of craft that I do on holidays for as gifts for at least at least, <laughs> is like baking, if that counts. I do. I like to make like um, pretzel bark or brownies or cookies. This year, I'm actually making, for Thanksgiving, for my side of the family, I'm going to make two different types of brownies, chocolate brownies and peanut butter brownies, because my brother's allergic to peanut butter, so I'm going to make two different types. And then for Devin's side of the family, for Thanksgiving, this isn't Christmas, um, we're going to make those pretzel things with a Hershey Kiss on top and an M&M squish down in it after it melts. I was going to do the Rolo ones with pecans, but um, I wanted something more colorful and pretty and slightly cheaper. Because <laughs> Rollos are kind of expensive and so are pecans. But anyways, um, and then around Christmas time I usually make cookies or bark, which is just chocolate with pretzels and sometimes nuts and stuff in it. And you spread it out on a sheet and let it dry or harden and break it up into random pieces. But uh, that's usually really popular. But I don't really do any paper crafts or anything like that for the holidays. I'd love to. I love the homemade cards that people make, but um, I'm not that good at paper crafting. <laughs> Number two is homemade gifts or store-bought or a mix and explain. I kind of just did that. <laughs> um, I don't really hand make anybody gifts and it's uh, usually because I don't have time. But also um, there's only a few people in my real life, my personal life, that are homemade gift worthy. People who actually use the item that I give them and uh, enjoy it a lot. So I'm, I usually make them people gifts. But... Um, Mostly my crochet is just for my, you know, myself or to try to sell, but uh, usually store-bought gifts <laughs> for uh, most of the family, yeah. Number three, who is the most craft-worthy craft person in your life and why? Um, <laughs> it's going to be hard because sometimes my mom and my sister watch this, but I think my sister is the most craft-worthy because she actually uses everything that I give her. <laughs> my mom uh, keeps everything I give her. She like, it's like she doesn't want to use it. She doesn't want to mess it up. But I think my sister is the most craft worthy in my life. Yeah. Because uh, everybody else either doesn't use the stuff I gave them or uh, they put it up. <laughs> Number four. What luxury craft item is on your wish list? And it says don't hold back. <laughs> I don't really have a wish list uh, this year. I can't think of anything that's a luxury item that I would love to have. I don't know. Maybe a cricket would probably be on there. But like I said, I'm not that good at paper crafts anyways. But, um, I guess probably some fancy crochet hooks or more expensive yarn. I don't know. <laughs> but we don't really do gift lists, so, uh, I guess there's nothing on there. <laughs> Number five is describe, describe a crafty holiday tradition you do every year. Well, the main one is I do make ornaments. The last, uh, three years or four years, three or four years, I make homemade ornaments every year for, um, out of crochet for my family and then Jesse also makes ornaments too there's none right here but there's one on the other side of the tree that he made last year and we're actually going to be making some more this this weekend uh, at the Thanksgiving thing at my family's having we're going to make some ornaments for this year <laughs> and we're going to try to make a tradition out of that to where we always make Christmas ornaments on Thanksgiving so that um, it'll just be a fun family thing but yeah I think that's the tradition the crafty tradition that we do every year number six what is your holiday decor style um, random. <laughs> it's it's kind of traditional in the color sense. I love the green and red and white Christmas colors. Everything I make is green, red, and white. But uh, I'm also really random. I mean, we have a rubber duck hanging on our tree, and right here's a s'more thing my sister made. You can't see it, but um, and I've got all kinds of just random. You know, there's a little stormtrooper. <laughs> uh, we don't really stick to like a specific theme it's just whatever I happen to like and uh, usually bright colors and stuff like that and yeah I guess that's it 
Number seven, describe the largest or most complicated item you have handmade for the holidays. What was it? When did you make it? And how long did it take to complete? Um, hmm. Probably the tree skirt. <laughs> the one that I'm currently working on and the one that I made before. They take a while because they're kind of like blankets. Um, and I'm still working on the one for this year. I probably won't get it done before this Christmas, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know because I normally make like amigurumis and stuff and they, they go pretty quick. So probably the tree skirt. Number eight. Describe a holiday crafting fail. Hmm. can't think of one. Let me think. Well, I guess maybe this Santa over here. Let me grab it. This Santa was a free pattern and I love the image of it. I made it last year, but I just don't like it. One, immediately after I made it, Jesse got something on it and stained it. So he has this big stain. And two, he's super floppy. <laughs> I don't even think I ever finished it on No Kitchen Name. I never showed it because I just don't like it. Um, I'm probably actually going to end up taking it apart. <laughs> And reusing the stuffing out of it because I'm just not happy with it. It didn't turn out the way I wanted it. And it's so floppy. You really can't do anything with it. It just flops around. So I'd say that's probably it. That and probably um, not tempering chocolate right and getting it all chunky. I've done that plenty of times. <laughs> Number nine. Describe the best crafty gift you have received for whatever holiday you celebrate. Uh, I don't know. Usually when I do crafty gift swaps and stuff uh, around the holidays, we get yarn and stuff. So I guess always free yarn is always a good thing. <laughs> or anything crochet, you know, uh, stitch markers or hooks or whatever. But uh, yarn's always good. And number 10, share your favorite holiday mug and show us that mug shot. I don't use mugs. <laughs> so I can't do that. I guess I can go get the one I drink hot chocolate out of. Okay, I don't drink coffee and I don't drink an hot tea usually every now and then but mostly I drink cold tea in like a glass but this one is the one I used to drink hot chocolate out of all the time it's just a Dollar Tree travel mug <laughs> but then I got this one recently that I've been using and this is I got uh well I shared it recently <laughs> and uh yeah so this is what I drink out of these are guests are technically mugs I don't know but I don't drink like out of cute little mugs and with teas and stuff because I don't drink stuff like that <laughs> But I do have a few mugs. I have the one from um, Debbie, and I use it in the kitchen to hold <laughs> stuff beside the sink because I don't want to uh, actually use it and break it. And then I got a couple other ones that we use to drink stuff out of, but normally I uh, use these for hot chocolate because I don't like teas and stuff. But yeah, so that was all of Ken's Christmas craft tag. <laughs> and... Um, I'll just tag anybody who wants to do it, really. I'm not good at, like, actually remembering people's names and channel names to specifically tag the ones who weren't already tagged. But just if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.